Hey guys, it's Mastrath here, and I'd just like to say first off, Bang and Olsen, screw your laptops. <laughs> I've had to deal with uh, Chris's anger fit of uh, him trying to break his laptop, I think, for work. Well, I, I, I finished work, I was supposed to finish work at five o'clock. Someone came in last knock-ins with an emergency, you know, so you got to try and get that sorted. Which I can usually do on a PC tower in the space of about three minutes. And on, today, today wasn't that day. Crappy bang and awesome laptop. Ten minutes. I'm gonna turn up ten minutes late tomorrow. I don't give a crap. Anyway, <laughs> folks, this is not a rant about how bang and awesome laptops are bad. I haven't done a master rant in about a year or so. What this is is the global trophy, specifically it is. the European qualifiers. Yeah, absolutely. We've got to get to the serious end of the competition now, where we actually get down to the knockout tournament stages. Of course, we've eliminated quite a few teams already. Uh, let's eliminate another 16 today. No, no, let's eliminate more than that. Let's eliminate 24. 24. No, yeah. on 24. But yeah, yeah so the, the European uh, qualifiers got a bit of a rich history, you know, you could say, from the highs and the lows of... Uh, of of, of uh, the uh, the history of Europe, uh, Sam. Why don't you go ahead and uh, let us know some of the uh, some of the facts from the uh, the history of the was it fifteen years of the European qualifiers for the Global Trophy? Yep. So uh, in the previous uh, fifteen se uh, seasons or attempts at the Global Trophy, there have been a, a multitude of different winners from Europe. Uh, France have won five times uh, in the European section, going a beaten twice uh, overall to win the Global Trophy after they've won. Uh, that was in 2005 and 7. Um, Italy have also won five times in Europe. Uh, have never actually converted that to a global trophy championship, though. Uh, most recently, of course, uh, Europe was won by the Netherlands, who are our current global trophy champions. And we'll be looking to progress to the global trophy once again this time around. Uh, Europe also has the most different winners uh, who have gone on to win the global trophy uh, overall uh, with six, I believe. So France have won, Holland have won, uh, uh, Germany have won, Portugal have won, Spain have won. Uh, I think that's it. Is yeah, there's only five, I think. Oh, okay. So it's five then. Yeah. I, I tell it's five. St still um, more than Brazil and Argentina, who are the other two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and as well as that, Europe has had the most different winners of their regional championships with um, teams varied, such as Norway, who have had to pre-qualify this season, uh, Croatia, Czech Republic, um, Italy, France, and the Netherlands, the winners of Europe in the past. Yes, and uh, obviously the current reigning Global Trophy champions, the Netherlands, won this last year, which means that they have not been defeated in Global Trophy action since 2018. No, 2019, sorry. <coughs> where they, Excuse uh, me. That's right. Uh, where, where they got quite close, I think, well, didn't they? They got close-ish, I think, last um, time. In 2019? I can't remember what happened in 2019. I can't they, remember what happened uh, like a couple of days I don't ago. Think, so. I don't think they were in the top four. Yeah. They did okay, they did okay in 19, but I think they, they were like a top, top team. In 2018, they did quite well. I think they were um, top four on that occasion. Um, Netherlands, this last season was actually the first time the Netherlands had made the final, would you believe? Yes, and uh, they, they went on to win it, and they haven't been defeated in over a year at this point. Nearly two years of global trophy action, and they haven't lost in that time, so... They're going to be dangerous to play. I wouldn't like to face Netherlands in the first couple of rounds, that's for sure. It could be anyone. There's no, you know, seedings in this competition. You know, if... France play the Netherlands in the first round, then that's how it be, you know? <laughs> exactly, who knows? Um, but with the positive side of the spectrum over with, I guess it's time to talk about the biggest negative in the spectrum. Is it England? Which is England, yes. Um, um... <laughs> a team that you would expect to do well most times has been probably the... I'd, I'd, I'd go out on a limb and say this. The most underperforming team like the most biggest underachieving team in global trophy history in my opinion they have not qualified for the finals so they've not got they've not won more than two matches a season since 2008 which is a long time ago now in their you know in their 15 appearances in the global trophy 10 times they have gone out on penalties 
Yes. Although for the last couple of seasons, they have played very high caliber opposition in Portugal both times, uh, both times uh, Portugal being the defending champion at the time. So you never know, maybe this season they'll do a bit better. But, you know, if, if there was any year to, for it to happen, it would be this one. But you never know, can you? You can, you can never tell these things. The problem is we say that every year about England, really, don't we? Do. We do. <laughs> it's coming home. <laughs> it's, it, it, it might be, but more than likely it won't be. No, it's, it's not coming home. If, if it comes home, I'll be very surprised. So will I, on a nice note. I mean, as said, you know, I've been doing, I've been around for this Global Trophy a lot longer than Sam has, and even yep. even before Sam uh, started joining me for these, England weren't very good then. No. To be honest. No, but with that said, they have got pedigree. They can beat the best teams on their day. They just always seem to get them early on. That's the only problem with uh, England, it seems to be. Yes, and uh, well, maybe this is the year. But they've also also been they've also been knocked out by uh, um, I think they've been knocked out by Republic of Ireland. I think once as well. So it's not all it's and not Scotland. always just bad luck against the big teams. They also fall to shockers as well. They do. It, 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 yeah, you can never tell with England. It's either going to be a, a feast or a famine, and generally it's the uh, the latter. <laughs> Well, let's find out if it's a famine this year. It's time for the European qualifiers. And first up, we have the team that finished eighth place in the preliminaries uh, back last month, uh, which means that they will be the dud team for this um, qualifiers. Belarus. So unlucky. And they did so well to win their last, was it last two or three games in a row to get into contention? Um, unfortunately for them, Iceland won their last game. Um, Belarus had an amazing... I think they even beat... Was it... Who did they beat late on? Was it Bulgaria, I want to say? I think it was Bulgaria, yes. I can't remember. It was a long time ago when we recorded. It's actually only a week, but shh. Anyway, Close the point up. being, uh, Belarus. Um, it's a shame for them, but, you know, unfortunately they are the good team this time around. Next, uh, a team that got through, um, and they are... They have a chance here, but... Depends on... Really, do they have a chance? It's Slovenia. They might have a chance. Who knows? We've seen bigger shocks before. We've seen Liberia finish in the top three of the Global Trophy, so you never know. We've seen another shock, which actually happened last year at this stage, uh, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I think, Sam, you, you know exactly which one I'm talking about with that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Next up, qualifying in sixth place in the preliminaries, it's Iceland. Again, they're a team that have qualified in the past for the Global Trophy Finals. I think 2018, I want to say they did. They were a, a relative newcomer to this level of competition. They didn't really feature in the earlier Global Trophies when things were based off FIFA rankings uh, entirely. And obviously, Iceland's performances in real life have really attested to that. So, who knows? Iceland are a dangerous team on their day. They, they can cause shocks themselves. Indeed. Next up... Uh, probably the one team from the uh, preliminaries that got everyone talking, most because of the innuendos that I kept giving them, Hungary! Yeah, Hungary. Formerly ranked as high as third overall in the Global Trophy. They have done so well in the past, um, but not this time, I don't think. They, they struggled in the, uh, in the preliminaries, didn't they? Yes, indeed. Uh, next up, we have Montenegro, or in this case, still being represented by Ecuador, so it's Montenegro finishing in fourth in the preliminaries. Yeah, they did a quite good job, didn't they, in the end, I believe. Uh, yeah, they had a, they had a good run. They were, they, were, they were pretty close to probably the biggest shockers of the preliminaries. Um, I didn't expect them to do as well as they did. Exactly, and they, they, I'd say they did pretty well, and they certainly deserved their spot here. Next up, it is probably the biggest shocker in the uh, preliminaries for doing as well as they did. The Republic of Ireland. Yeah, they're a great team. Um, I think they were a bit unlucky to not finish higher, really. I think they only lost one game in the end, was it? Or something like that? I can't remember. It was something along those lines, but yeah, they played amazingly well. Um, you know, we can't fault them for anything there, but this is the big leagues now for them. Yeah, they've got, they've got to perform here. This is not going to be easy for them to do. Indeed, and next up, uh, former third place in the Global Trophy altogether, but that was back over a decade ago, but they finished second in the qualifiers to make it through here. It's Bulgaria. Again, not a bad team. They've got so much pedigree from the past. They've not had a good run in a few years, though. They, 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 
You can't discount them, can you? Exactly. Um, and with that, next up, the winners of the preliminaries, not losing a single match, and former top eight um, in the uh, global trophy itself, and former European qualifier champions, Norway. Yeah, you can't discount the Norwegians. Um, coming to prominence again in real life, um, as things stand, with players like Martin Odegaard and players like um, Haaland as well, who plays for Dortmund, you know. <sighs> Norway, we could see in a few years' time, won't have to pre-qualify. They, they've got a very, very good side coming forward. Ah, uh, Odegaard, the football manager legend from, like, 2017. He's still really good. He's really, really yeah, good Yeah, I know, now. but he was, like, in stupid young. In, yeah, like, he, he, first I mean, he's, manager. I think he was like 15 you know, he's, or something. Yeah, he's still only like 22. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, but he, yeah, but it's all like, he was like, quick, quick buy. And it's like, there you go. There, there's your star player for the rest of your time there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and next up. Uh, so with the preliminaries out of the way, it's now time to see the next 16 teams. These are based off of the FIFA rankings. Um, in this case, the UEFA rankings. So, um, essentially, it's the top 16 teams in UEFA rankings um, that do not include the top eight. Uh, when we define the top eight, we mean the eight so, the teams, teams that qualified from last season that made it to the Global Trophy last time round. Yeah. First up, scraping through is Romania. Interesting that they're ranked, ranked so highly. I didn't think they were ranked that high, but apparently they are. Yeah, they, they, they were able to they were able to barely scrape through on that one. But that's got them automatic qualification for this stage. Uh, next does, up, yeah. um, a team that was in the Global Trophy Champion of Champions. Um, and they did quite well. A couple of years back. It's Russia. Yeah, top 16 on that occasion as well. Um, very decent side. Uh, not to be messed with, that's for sure. I don't know if they'll be qualifying for this, uh, well, the upcoming Champion of Champions in 2022. Uh, it will require a lot of a lot of good results for the, uh, the next two seasons, but we'll have to wait and see. Indeed, it's gonna be, it'll be very difficult. But, uh, well, I think we know that some, te some teams that will already be there, let's be honest, with their uh, runs in the last, yep. uh, in the last couple. Yep. So next up, it is Turkey. Um, well, as it's just gone past Christmas, I uh, hope you all enjoyed your turkey. Has it just gone past Christmas? Oh, yeah, it has gone, 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 gone past Christmas. Happy New Year, everyone! Um, <laughs> hooray! Uh, At least that year was over. Next up, it's Yugoslavia. Tell how old this game is. Yep. <laughs> Representing Serbia. Yep, Serbia. A good, a good team, Yugoslavia, even back here. Back here. I, I do wonder, though, like, it makes me think, what would a Yugoslavia team of today be like? It'd be incredible, wouldn't it? Imagine what a Soviet Union team would look like. Oh, crazy. Absolutely crazy. And next up, a team that I always thought would be a bit higher ranked than what they are at the moment, because they're, they're pretty decent dark horses. Austria. I think they've had a good, decent run in the last couple of global trophies, actually. I think they've, they've been in the top eight, um, if not last year, the year before. So, again, dangerous. Before. Yeah, I would say 19. That sounds about right now. Uh, next one is going to be Ukraine. Not really had the dizzying heights um, of recent years, Ukraine. But, again, a decent team. And you don't really want them early on, do you? Exactly, you certainly, you certainly don't. They could, they, they can produce a good shock or two on that one. Yeah. Next up, a team that, well, thanks to uh, uh, a certain couple of players, uh, has pretty <laughs> much solidified their uh, uh, dominant or their prominence in uh, the European qualifiers now. Where about ten years ago, they'd have no chance. It's Wales. Well, at least Gareth Bale's off the golf course now. That's what I say. It's, Back. it's nice to see him play football again. Makes a change. Yep. Maybe he can afford a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, um, it is Poland. Shop they're to see also slow. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I think they're a really good side today. But you know, especially with players like Robert Lewandowski. I mean, come on, what a goal machine he is. Yeah, one of the is. I still think though, when it comes to Lewandowski, one of the best strikers in the world. Oh, 100%. He, he, he should have won the Ballon d'Or this year, if, yeah. if there was a Ballon d'Or happening. 
but it's like Lewandowski, like, you know, players when they usually get to around that sort of 30 age, they usually start getting they start to worse. Slow down. Yeah, he's getting better. Yeah, Lewandowski is like, like the bloody Benjamin Button of football. Yeah, he's incredible. He's Crazy. such a physical player. He's really good. Yeah. Physical specimen. And next up, we have Sweden. Team that England beat in the 2018 World Cup, of course. To be honest, we beat a couple of teams in the 2018 World Cup, which doesn't happen very often. No, it doesn't. I don't think it's going to happen again. That was our chance, I think. That was our chance of a lifetime. Well, you never know. Maybe four wing-backs might be enough. <laughs> oh, Southgate. Oh, we'll wait for that. Next up, speaking of England. Uh, honestly, after what I saw in the England-Denmark match, uh, I could probably beat up most of the Danish people. I'm not trying to. But they like to simulate a lot. They do, awesome. but they have got some phenomenal footballers, even in this era as well. Denmark had a decent team and uh, should not be messed with. I think they were a quarter-finalist a couple of years back as well. Still, good thing there's not a dive option in this game, though. Mm. Yeah. Apologies to all my Danish watchers, which are probably none of you, because most of you are from Scotland, because we bloody know that. <laughs> Hi, Logie and Ross, you're right. Um, <laughs> Say hello to them again. Again. Um, next up, we have Reverse England, also known as Switzerland. Well, their flag they got is. Good, they got some good chocolate down in the Swiss, haven't they? Mm. Yeah, good, good guys. I like Switzerland. I love the way we've spoken about like the pedigree of all these teams, and then when it comes to Switzerland, yeah, which is like they've got great chocolate. They have got great chocolate. They do. Have I great like Swiss chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Next up, uh, probably the always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Uh, team, um, especially with the Netherlands picking up their first global trophy, this team surely has got to be the next one to pick up a global trophy from any team that hasn't won it before. It's Italy. The Italians, yes, they are five-time European champions. Three-time global trophy runners-up, would you believe? They've made it to the final three times. They're the only team to have made it to more than one final and not one. Uh, the global trophy would you believe indeed um, they had they had they had a good attempt uh, a couple of years back i believe i believe it was 2018 against portugal it was they, yes and they missed out to portugal when portugal shot the world obviously we didn't know at that point portugal were going to go on and win it again but yeah, um, which yeah italy italy are a dangerous team essentially putting a shock on a shock there uh next yeah, up basically it is croatia croatia um one of my favourite football shirts, I think it's fair to say, with the with the the check pattern, the, the squares. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's it is quite it is a lovely shirt. Yep. And next up, one of the bigger teams that actually didn't make it to the Global Trophy Finals last time round. It's the uh the, those blokes from Espanol, it's Spain. Spain have a unique thing about them whenever they qualify for the global trophy finals and when they go on to win it they are three-time winners and they've won in 2006 2011 and 2016 so they've won every five years since and the global trophy has year? began this is 2021 so they if they don't win it this season it'll be the first time that they haven't won the global trophy every five years since 2006 the streak will be broken 2006 yep. 2011 2016 champions will 2021 be the time that Spain gets back on track. We'll have to wait and see. Next up, oh god, it's England. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. We'll see how they get on. Let's just, let's just not jinx it. Let's not jinx it. Let's just right. not say anything. Okay. Uh, next up, no surprise that this team uh, is uh, is making it to every global trophy now. They are world ranked number one. It's Belgium. A phenomenal football team in 2020 and it's sad because at this point in this game they're just not a force are they they're just not a force um we'll see with belgium they also have great chocolate i'll give that to them chocolate mad don't chocolate mad I, I, i've got a sweet tooth today what can Fair i say enough. sugar daddy needs his chockies That's yeah 
Okay, so now we get, with those 16 teams out of the way, now we get to the top eight. Now, these teams made it to the Global Trophy Finals last time around by finishing in the top eight of these qualifiers. So let's kick off with ranked number eight for this, the Czech Republic. Or Czechs, yeah, I guess they're known as now. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Um, they have actually won the European qualifiers in the past in 2017. Czech Republic and I think they finished top eight that season as well they had a great run in the global trophy so a dangerous team Czech Republic could be could, could be could be a dark horse wouldn't be surprised if they get there again on, on a nice name really good team yeah absolutely next up they are former two-time global trophy champions winners of the title in tw tw in 2018 and 2019 it's Portugal <sighs> could could it happen again? A third time? It could. They're a good team. They've never won in Europe, though. They have never won in Europe. Maybe they need to start with that first. They certainly could do, yes. But Portugal, the only team in Global Trophy history to successfully defend their Global Trophy. They, have won, they are the only team to have won back-to-back -back Global Trophies. No other team has ever done that. It's true. It's true. And they're a, they're a good team. And I, I, I can't wait to see how they get on this time around. We'll see. Next up, the team with the most Global Trophy victories ever. They've won so many. It's France. Four-time winners. Winners in 2005, seven. Was it nine as well? Yep. And 2017. France, so deadly. You don't want to play them. Probably the best team here, but well, not quite. Rank number two in the official Global Trophy rankings, but yeah, you don't want to mess with them. Exactly, and next up, it's Greece, the 2004 European champions in real form. Yep, yeah, Greece as well as that. It's infinitely more dull than this, to be honest. Yeah, abs absolutely. Well, Greece last season had a bit of an interesting run because they have originally finished eighth in the preliminaries. Um, however, due to a duplication of teams in the um, in the bracket, due to a small error, uh, Greece were given <laughs> Greece were given seventh place and were allowed to play on. So they weren't the dud team, and they qualified for the finals, and therefore are back this year. Indeed. Uh, now we get to the teams that made it to the semi-finals of the uh, Global Trophy European qualifiers last season, with probably the biggest of the shockers, Slovakia. They had a great season, didn't they? They did so well, and again, they, they're tough to beat, Slovakia. Even today, they've got some fantastic players in real life, so who knows, maybe Slovakia will shock us again. Next! <laughs> it's Scotland. <laughs> oh yeah. Get out, your <laughs> haggis and your cabers! It's time <laughs> for the team that humbled the two-time back-to-back winners yeah. of the Global Trophy. It's time for the Scots to go on the prowl. They've automatically qualified this year. Yeah, get your iron brew out. Get your iron brew out. Yeah. Yeah, Scotland, who beat Portugal on penalties in the quarterfinals last year of the uh, of the European qualifiers, they'd already made it through. They just wanted to make a statement, and they beat the Global Trophy champions that year. They did, and they, I think they didn't... Did they lose the first round? They did, didn't they, in the um, In the actual finals, finals, yeah, they lost in the first round. Which is a shame, but we'll see. But beating a team like Portugal that looked, on oh, ice note, indestructible at that point. Yeah, you know, they were on a rampage. They did so well in... Yeah. That is... That is something that will always make people wary of Scotland when they play against them now, because if they can do that to Portugal, they can do that to anyone. They can. Absolutely true. Next up, former Global Trophy champions, I believe one time, if I remember correctly. Uh, but runner-ups in the European sector last year, Germany. Germany's a weird one. They won the title in 2013. It was the only time they won it. And since then, they haven't really done anything, really. Um, it's very strange. I think they've last got season, a couple they did quite of well. top eights. They, they came last year. That, that's, a, that's about it, I think. They've got a couple of top eights and they got knocked out, I think, each time. Last last season, they, 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 it looked like they were just starting to you know turn a corner, made the European final, and then lost in the quarterfinals last season to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, Saudi Arabia knocking out the Germans there. Very strange. But anyway, 
we'll move on. And last but not least, the winners of the European sector, the global trophy champions, undefeated for over a year. Not many teams have done that to win their uh, continental sector and the Euro and the um, the global trophy championship in the same season. It's the Netherlands, one-time global trophy champions here. Yeah, the only other teams who have done it are France and Argentina. Um, so they're a very esteemed company, the Netherlands. They've also shot up the rankings by winning last year's Global Trophy. And Let's the European how they qualifies as well. That that carries of a course. lot of points as well on that one. Of course. It's going to carry a lot of momentum. I can't wait to see how they get on this season. This is going to be very exciting. Indeed. And with Belarus as the dub team, it's time for our first quick save. Yes. <laughs> Let's begin! No, my luck, we're not going to need it. Yeah, we're not going to need oh. it. <laughs> it's gone straight. Of course it has, right? Of course it has. Very right. good. Sam, just double check. Can you see what's on the screen right now? I can see everything that's on the screen right now. A lot of the big teams are in the lower half of the bracket. Yeah, I think Italy's got a pretty decent run. <laughs> the, the, so, as, been... so as everyone can see, now Sam can see, we have Iceland, Bulgaria, Denmark, Turkey, Wales, Slovakia, Belarus, Romania's, Romania is going to get a free buy into the second round. Sweden versus Greece, Aust uh, Austria versus Serbia, Hungary versus Republic of Ireland, and Italy, Croatia. It's very open this side of the bracket, isn't it? We could have some big crunch matches at the other side. But we have no Germany, we have no Netherlands, we have no Portugal, we have no, no France. France, we no have Spain. Yeah, we, ha we have England. We don't have England. We don't have Scotland either. So don't see much hope for those two in this. Yeah, it's looking looking pretty dicey for everyone, isn't it? All the champions are on the other half of the bracket, which is ridiculous when you think about it. Indeed, I think Italy's got a pretty good... they got a pretty good chance here of making it through pretty solidly. Unless some bad happens. Yeah, yeah well, let's see. Uh, Hungary are a decent side. So are Croatia. We'll have to see how they get on. Exactly. So first up, Iceland versus Bulgaria. I don't know which way this is going to go. It could be either way. It's a close one. Oh, Bulgaria. Right off the bat there with a 1-0 win. Iceland out in the first round. Yep, yeah, shame for them, but they did pre-qualify. They couldn't quite carry on against the other team that pre-qualified in Bulgaria. Exactly. Um, and next up, it's Denmark, Turkey. Both red and white flags. Yep, you'd think a Danish win here, I'd say. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, just about. Just about. 3-2. So that sets up Denmark versus Bulgaria in the round of 16 for a chance at the Global Trophy Finals. Yeah, very interesting. Good good matchup, that should be. Wales now. They've got Slovakia. Slovakia say, made it to the semi-finals last time round. They could do it again this time if, if they play their cards right. They certainly could. Can Wales get out the first round? They can! They can! Wow. Wales into the second round with a 2-0 win. Slovakia, semi-finalist in the European um, qualifiers last season. Gone. Out in round one. Shame for them, but what a result for Wales. They will play Romania in the next round as they get a bye against Belarus. So we're going to have Wales or Romania in the Global Trophy Finals this year. Let that sink in, folks. <laughs> Wales or Romania. The, the problem here is... We could have a similar issue that we did in uh, 2019. Was it 2019 or 2018? I think the it was, one I where think it was Portugal 19 won when... the first one, so 2018, when so many of the big teams got knocked out so early. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Th this this could make Europe a very weak continent in the finals here, depending on absolutely. how the bracket goes. Yeah, well, I think we're pretty much guaranteed to lose one of our champions because of the way that the, like, the only four teams will go through and there's five champions in the other half, so... Exactly, it could, it could be the... Act oh, yeah, yeah, every single champion, jeez, yeah, every single one's in that one, so... Yeah, we're gonna lose at least one here in round two, at least. Yeah. Next up, Sweden versus Greece. Greece made it to the quarterfinals last time round. They did. Ooh, and they could do it as well this time. First penalty you know, decision Sweden. of the tournament. Yeah, good result for Greece. Next up is Austria and Serbia, represented by Yugoslavia. Oh, Serbia go through. Good result for Serbia there. Brilliant result. So it's... So... So it's going to be Bulgaria or Denmark. Wales or Romania. Greece or Serbia. South America's <laughs> got to be laughing right now. 
They're going to be licking their lips, haven't they? Surely. Right. Hungary now. They've got the Republic of Ireland. Both teams had to pre-qualify. Republic of Ireland finished higher in that table. Indeed, but how is it going to work in one-on-one -on -one battles? Oh, it's Hungary. Hungary, once again, they, they don't forget they did finish top three a couple of years ago. They are, I've got pedigree, the Hungarians. Yeah, but will they have enough pedigree? There's two really good teams here. It's Croatia or Italy. Big match. Who's Hungary going to take on in the second round? It's Italy, of course it is. Very good, Italy. Through to the next round. A bit of a scare from Croatia. They scored a goal, but they're through. Next, it's the only back-to-back -back winners of the Global Trophy, Portugal versus former European qualified champions, Norway. And of course, the preliminary winners as well, the preliminary league winner. It's a big, big fight feel this is actually. Norway could certainly prove a shocker here. Not this time though. Portugal through 1-0. Yeah, and they will play the winner of Slovenia or Ukraine. Two lower-ranked teams, you have to say. Yeah, Portugal could have a, a pretty easy run here. Never know. Oh, Ukraine go through. They do. On penalty is a good result for them. Uh, this next match could be very spicy indeed. Oh, the, Europe, the world champions, the current European champions versus Russia. Oh, oh. so close were Russia. Oh, but the Netherlands scrape through and they will play the winner of the England versus Switzerland Oh, are you Switzerland kidding me? <laughs> Every time, man. England, Switzerland. Here we go. England through to the second round. 2-0. To, to face the Netherlands. <laughs> to face the Netherlands. It's been Portugal, Portugal, Netherlands, Netherlands now for England. Wow. No, it was Portugal last year. Yeah, okay, now yeah, I think I think it was Netherlands, Portugal, Portugal, and now it's Netherlands. I think they fought Netherlands in 2018, 17. I want to say. Yeah, wow, that's just hard. <laughs> it's hard luck for England, that is. Yep, next up, oh god, Scotland's got it worse. Yeah, if they've got the French, can Scotland do pull off a miracle here? If they not, if they can knock out France here. What a story that would be. That would be bigger than the Portugal result last season. Oh, oh. again, so close. Not quite managing it, though. Not enough. France beat Scotland 1-0. Scotland go out in round one this time round. Yep, hard luck for them, but <laughs> you can't really go out to a better team, can you, really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, as I said, the most the most, most global trophy championships in France, four yeah. of them. You know, you, you, yeah, can't, absolutely. you can't go against that pedigree. Next up, no, you it's can't. Czech Republic versus Belgium. Again. Not an easy one to call this one. It's not. It's Czech Republic through. Yep, Czech Republic, good result for them, but they have got a very stiff challenge against France in the next round. Uh, no, I think they've got. I think. Have I this? Yeah, they, they've, they've got. They've got France next. Oh yeah, they got France next. Yeah, we got one more after this. Don't we? This uh, does mean though, with with knowing that the next match is Poland versus Montenegro, the last match will be Germany versus Spain. Oh god, it is, isn't it? Wow. Ooh, okay. Well, Poland versus uh, Montenegro. Poland through. 3 1. And as, and as we said, two powerhouse nations, four global trophies between them. It's Spain and Germany. Oh, Germany go! And there go Germany, the 2013 champions. Go home once again. Out in round one, but look at that bottom bracket. That is disgusting, isn't it? Look at the state of that. Filth. <laughs> oh, right goodness there. me. Right, Bulgaria, Denmark. Winner goes through to the Global Trophy Finals. Loser goes home. It's Denmark! Good result for Denmark. Quality side and deservedly getting through to the next round. And through to the finals, of course. Indeed. Now, can we actually have a home <laughs> nation go through? A guaranteed home nation. This is a tough match for it, Romania. Wales aren't going to roll over. Romania through. And Wales go home. <laughs> it looks... So Romania barely getting through to the Global Trophy. They're through now to the finals. Amazing stuff from Romania. Greece now. They take on Serbia. Not an easy one to call this. Yep, for that third spot in the Global Trophy finals. It's Greece. They've made it two years but in a row. Brilliant stuff for Greece. They haven't had to pre-qualify this season due to their amazing performance last time, and they've done it once again. Hungary now. They've got Italy. 
it's up against Hungary here. If Italy go through, it would be a shock, but Hungary have been known to cause an upset or two. They have former third place. Nope, it's Italy. Italy through again. Not this time. Italy, the strongest team, go through and fair play to them for actually qualify for the Global Trophy this time around. Indeed, fair play. Portugal now, they've got Ukraine. The first of our champions in this bottom bracket. Portugal through, 2-1. Amazing result. Now, can England <laughs> beat the current holders? The world it's champions. Looking to retain their, ch their, their... If they could retain the European title here, England desperately looking to go through here. Nope. Ah, uh, that's unlucky. That is just unlucky again. Of course not. It's England. What do you expect? England <sighs> Hard luck to out England. again. It was a, it was a close match. In round one, two. Though. Yeah. Every time. Exactly. Every time. Every every time. Get get a big team. Get knocked out. That's England, pretty much yep. for you. It is. Next up, it's France versus the Czech Republic. Yep, France, uh, five-time European winners, four-time Global Trophy winners. Yeah, both both teams made it to the quarterfinals last time round, so only one of them's going to make it here this time. Yep. Oh, it's France, just barely! Yeah, the third of our th uh, three champions so far going through, but just about against Czech Republic. They'll, they'll feel a bit hard done by there. Yeah, Poland, Spain. Can Spain make it four out of five? If Spain make it through, this is a pretty solid uh, yeah, it is. European... Like, with with um, the exception of Germany. Yeah, yeah, contingent here. It is Spain. 3-1. Wow, well, so four of our five European champions have made it through. And, well, it's a disgusting looking bracket at the bottom, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, it is. Ugh. Right, Denmark-Romania. Winner For goes place to the semi-finals here. They do. Uh, my money's on Denmark. Romania carry on! What a result for Romania. Romania on fire right now. Wowie. Absolutely on fire. Next, Greece, Italy. Both teams through. Not an easy match for Italy, this. It'd be a big ass for them to do it. Greece take Italy out at the quarterfinal stage. What a result for Greece. They have been on fire as well, Greece. Yeah, one of Greece or Romania is making it to the finals here. Wow. Who would now, have thought that, huh? Now we get to the filth at the bottom there. <laughs> the big hitters at the bottom. Portugal versus the Netherlands. These two have the la have in total the last three global trophies between them. They do. I would like to call this one. It's Netherlands. Portugal out. They are they're still unbeaten. They're still going. They're still I tell you going. What, the, bottom, the bottom four of this bracket have had all the global trophies since 2016. Exactly. France, <laughs> Spain now. A big crunch match between two, two serial winners. Yeah. France, four-time global trophy champions. Spain, three-time global trophy champions. Spain have done it. Spain have never won Europe. Is this their time to do it? Certainly could be. Romania, Greece. What a turn up this is for both of these two. Who's going to go through? Romania go through to the finals. <laughs> Unbelievable seeds from Romania. Romania into the finals. Netherlands versus Spain. Can Netherlands go unbeaten again in Europe? Not this time. Spain hands Netherlands their first defeat since 2019. They do, and in the process, we are going to have a new European champion. But who will it be? Romania or Spain? It it will be hard not. It will be hard to uh, to not bet against, bet Spain, against Spain. Romania's done it! <laughs> what a story, Romania! Wow! No one saw that coming. I don't think anyone did. Romania. Knocking out Spain on penalties. The penalties came back to bite them. And Romania wow, are the winners of the European qualifiers. Wow. I suppose you could say, I suppose you could say that the reign of Spain ended in Romain. Yeah. Yeah. That was good, that was. I I'm copywriting that. Put good. on a t-shirt. Good. Do it. Good, because no one else would. <laughs> so, after all is said and done in Europe... Romania have won. <laughs> the, the the big representatives for Europe are R Romania. Wow, unreal. 
<laughs> Unreal. Imagine what would have happened if England was in the top bracket. Fair play. Do you know what? Romania deserve all the credit. They, they may have had an easier run than most. You know, the only tough team they really had to fight was Spain, maybe. But, I mean, they, they took their opportunity, didn't they? They beat everyone around them. Indeed. I mean, that's that's what you get sometimes. That's the luck of the draw. You know, we, we lost one Global Trophy champion in Germany. There's still four more left in it, though. There's still France, Portugal, Netherlands and Spain. Yeah, and all four of them could win it at this time. You know, Spain, so close to winning their first European title. You can see that they're warming up for the big daddy at the end of the season. Yes, it's going to be so difficult to beat Spain. Yes, and, and Netherlands suffering their first loss in, you know, nearly two years. It wasn't Dutch delight for them, but they only lost on penalties. Yeah, so technically, could you say that was a draw? Uh, no, they lost. Yeah, okay. Fine. But, but Romania. With that, folks, Romania. Who would have thought that at the start of this video? <laughs> of the, the, what, the team that got the bye against Belarus have made it through and won the European section. Exactly. What a performance there from Romania. Not sure how they're going to do in the finals. Probably out in round one, on honest note, but... What a story. They, they've got silverware. Yeah, they they have a trophy. They have a trophy before England does. Just think of that. Yep, absolutely crazy. But with that, folks, Romania, the first champion, or their first championship ever in the global trophy, and their first European uh, qualifiers championship. So we will be seeing Romania, Spain, Greece, the Netherlands, Denmark, Italy, Portugal, and France in the Global Trophy Finals in four weeks. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I, I can't wait to see who, who could come out on top out of these, these eight. <laughs> what a story that is. Greece as well did so well. Yeah, Greece again a, a, again with a great performance. Um, yeah, it's, kind of, it's kind of overshadowed by the Romanians, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but still, another great performance from Greece. They're through to a second consecutive Global Trophy Finals. It's starting to become mainstays there, like shocking mainstays they are. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. But this is a strong European lineup. You can't deny it, uh, with the exception of maybe Germany. But oh yeah, wow. you could probably take like Germany out for, or Germ you could put Germany in for, I don't know, maybe Denmark. Well, you, you'd say Romania, but <laughs> you'd they say, won. yeah, I was going to say Romania, but they went on to bloody win this one, so <laughs> probably well, keep them in. But yeah, with with the exception of Germ, with the missing of Germany, I'd say this is a, probably one of the stronger. Um, European uh, global trophies, I'd say. They're looking, they're looking pretty strong for the finals. Yeah, no, I completely agree. They can, keep up, they can keep up that trend they've been having for the last five years of having just European global trophy champions. Yeah, uh, you know, it could be any of those, any one of those five as well. You know, okay, Romania won here, but I don't think they're going to win in the final. But you've got Italy, Portugal, Netherlands, France, Spain, such dominant teams over the last few years yeah you've even got teams like denmark that have had good runs in the global trophy finals before former top eight yeah yeah absolutely but with that folks the european qualifiers is over we got knocked out scotland also Shock got horror. knocked out so uh let's have an argument in the comments even though <laughs> we're both losers Yep. We'll have to wait till next the year again. The real winners here, though, are the fans of Romania. There aren't any for this. Well, if you click the play button one more time, we can see their beautiful flag and the cup next to each other. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Things you didn't expect to see in 2020. <laughs> Romania, the cup winners. There you go. Go that, folks, and with Romania's victory and the European qualifiers on the sunset, you could say, we will see you next week for the Asian qualifiers, or Asia and Oceania qualifiers. Yep, yeah, absolutely, we will do. So I've been Mastraff. I've been Sam Elliott 64. And we'll see you next week for the Asia Oceania qualifiers, which are who will be the next eight teams through to the Global Trophy 2021. We'll find out we'll next week. Bye. See you then.